How do you feel about getting up at 5.30 every morning? I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm a morning person too, so I'm a little biased. I love mornings. Um, some sisters have a hard time. <laughs> I don't enjoy 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I personally, I, I think it's a beautiful um, sacrifice to the Lord. And during certain times of the year, when we're gathered in, in morning prayer, having the sun coming up at the same time that we're starting our prayer is just, I don't know, it's, just, it's beautiful. Stepping into the bell rings and we are getting up and getting ready for prayer time at 6 together as community. We sing the liturgy of the hours four times a day. We pray morning prayer at 6 a.m. A midday prayer at 12 p.m. We pray the Angelus first and then we pray evening prayer at 4.30 and night prayer at 8.15. And the Eucharist is the center of our community. We find the one whom our heart loves. Our whole day is structured around prayer. And so with our two hours of personal prayer, that's where we get the grace and the strength to do everything that the Lord could ask of us. And for us, that could mean anything. Depending on the day, usually we're in our work areas around 8.45, 9 o'clock. Um, and there's different places that we, we work. And we work until about 4.15, 4.20. Following Mass and, and evening prayer, we have family dinner time. We have free time in the evening just to exercise, to hang out, to, you know, do do little things here and there and then after after that we gather again for our last time before grand silence at 8 15 in chapel for night prayer and night prayer closes with a marian hymn after that we have grand silence until we start our day all over again the next day stepping into the day